Welcome back. UH Law School Dean Camille Nelson joins us this evening. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, there's so many great things going on at the William S. Richardson School of Law, which turns 50. Absolutely. It's an exciting time at the William S. Richardson School of Law. We are going into our 50th anniversary year, come the new academic year in the fall. And just breaking down barriers and, and getting great accomplishments along the way. One of them is a new program yes. that's entirely online. True. JD and we are, Flex. We are so excited about this program. We join uh, just a few other schools in the country, but for us, this is such an iconic program that is an evolution of our part-time program. Really meeting students where they are. Then that's, I know that accreditation had been an issue that kind of kept the, the law schools from broaching that uh, kind of experience in the past. So good for you folks this for breaking down This is an entirely that. accredited program. Yeah. It is the next step in, in our mission mm -hmm. of opportunity and access, especially in this, this state and the larger Pacific region. How long would people be in the program if they sign up for online? So just like our current EPT program, even part-time, it's evolving into a four-year degree. Oh. So just like present, it's four years to completion. Wow, and it comes out the same equivalent degree Absolutely. as if you sat there in the classroom. ABA accredited. ABA accredited, amazing. Now, it is also been recognized as one of the nation's top law schools for practical training. Yes. What does that mean? Indeed, so practical training means live clients or simula simulations with clients. So really this is what we call experiential learning, getting your hands dirty, supporting people in the community, doing the work of real lawyers as a student. That's great. That's what they're going to come out doing. That's very handy for our local law firms Indeed. that are going to need their help. Also, one of the top ranked law schools for environmental law. Certainly. And as we know, climate justice is in the news every day. So we're particularly proud of our environmental law program. Students are very interested in it and students are doing work that, frankly, the world needs. That, that certainly can be said enough here in Hawaii. Also recognized, of course, for that online education. Yes. Was that even before the JD Flex came along because of some degree of online access that you had? Well, it's funny, you know, we only launched in mid-February and we've already been recognized as one of the, of the top 25 programs in the country. And we are accepting applications through to the beginning of June. So I think that bodes well for what we're trying to accomplish, which is really bringing people into the justice system so they could do the good work of furthering justice. Do you know about the numbers you know, how many people can be enrolled in this course and, and how many more slots you might have open? Sure. Well, we have a few more slots open. I, we're, we're in the first few years thinking of around 40 students and we'll see how it grows. And But we want to make sure we're bringing in the students who want to do the great work that furthers our mission. But right now, you know, it's looking great and we're really excited, especially as we're going into our anniversary year. And what does somebody need to do to apply? Buckle down for LSATs. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Absolutely. So we want to learn about the whole person. Certainly the GRE and the LSAT are really important, but also demonstrating that you're the type of student who cares about Hawaii and the larger region and who wants to use your law degree to do good for others and to serve others. So we're trying to look at the whole you. Right. And it, UH has always been a great value for the money, no matter which kind of program you're in. I imagine the same must be said for this one. It's true. And thank you for recognizing that. We remain one of the least expensive law schools in the country. And per credit for the new program, for example, we're looking at just slightly under $1,000 per credit for in-state students and under $2,000 for out-of-state students. Still one of the least expensive schools in the country, making us one of the best values in the country. And recognized nationally by Thank a you. plethora yes. of rankings. Well, Dean, it's a pleasure to have you Thank as you. part of the leadership group there, taking us into all these new adventures. Can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so much for having me.